Oh yeah. Oh boy, that was a that was a deep one. That was a good one. Anyway, hey, how's it going? Welcome back to another video. And in this video, I will give you guys a little somewhat of a step by step on how I made this tank right here. This is gonna be Kevin's new tank. Kevin, my flower horn, you guys mostly all know, I believe, which I will play some clips of Kevin right now. If I can get him. There you go, Kevin. Oh, come on, get him. What? You got it. Oh, oh, there it is. So that is Kevin. He is in a tank. He's in a 55 gallon, uh, just a typical, like, I don't know what you want to call it, like the PetSmart version of a 55 gallon, just a typical, what is it, four feet long, like by 12 inches deep or something like that. So uh, he's in that right now. And he's actually going from that to, I don't know the exact dimensions on this. I will, uh, I believe it's 30, 36 by 32, 36 by 32, possibly something like that. Either way, it is roughly around 109 gallons, I believe, like the all the dimensions put in here. It's about 109, 110 gallons. Uh, probably with the sump, it'll be probably about like 130-ish. Hopefully that is enough for Kevin to grow the rest of his life out in here. And as you guys can see, it, it is big. Like I can reach, like I can hardly reach from side to side kind of thing. It is a big tank. It's not as small as, I don't know how the camera makes this thing look. It's probably really hard to see it, honestly, because of the clear, but it is a big tank. So without further ado, let's get into the step-by-step -step on how I did this first. I went to, actually, I had this at my disposal, which is really lucky for me. A lot of people don't have it, but I have an acrylic manufacturer and uh, actually right down the street from my house. So I was able to go over there, ask them, hey, can you guys give me clear, clear acrylic? I'm using it for a fish tank. Uh, what do you guys recommend? Like all that different stuff. I think there's like different types of it, like cell casted and stuff like that. I believe that's correct. That could be wrong. Uh, Big Daddy's right here. Yeehaw, brother. He doesn't know what he walked into. I'm explaining this nice tank that we that actually you helped me with. A little bit, but it is a beautiful tank. It is a nice tank. It's really clear, isn't it? Yeah, it's nice. It is real nice. But so I had to, the fortunate of being able to uh, go on over to the acrylic store because it's right down the street from me. So I was able to get that super easy. I actually got the acrylic for around 400 bucks, which I don't know if that's high or low for right now. I don't know if acrylic had any type of inflation or not just because uh, I bought it, I don't know, a few months back, two, two months ago. Uh, Cause I knew I was moving into the new house. So I wanted to wait, save this for when we moved. And uh, here we are, we're in the garage and we built her. So we started out by, uh, well, I had to kind of prep the acrylic by kind of taping it off a little bit. I kind of got lazy and didn't really tape it anymore. I kind of gave up on that. So we peeled all the paper off, made sure the surfaces were nice and clean. I wiped them down with a towel and then uh, we got into gluing it. I used the pin method, I believe is what it's called, which you take a needle applicator, mix up some weld on four is what I used. I'll actually show you guys that here. I use some of this right here. This is the Weld On 4 that I use. It's a fast set. It's made specifically for acrylics and I put it into this needle applicator bottle. As you can see, it's in here. It stays a liquid. You don't have to worry about it drying out or anything like that, I don't believe. Uh, what it technically does is once it hits the acrylic, it actually becomes a glue. It kind of melts the acrylic and melts them together is basically what it does. Something in the molecules of the science of the stuff. It, uh, it gets it going. I don't know. I don't know how it does it, how it works, but all I know is it like kind of melts it and fuses it together. So you technically do not need a sealer or any type of uh, silicone to go with it. So either way, uh, I'll get to that later in these steps. So what I did was that I then uh, peeled it all, used the pin method, and every time I dropped one down, I used actually a 90 angle clamp, a 90 degree angle clamp, and it, uh, it actually helped a lot. Some people will build them uh, to just hold them in place. You kind of have to get it placed, kind of screw it down a little bit. Your main, I had to use 36 inch clamps, that way I could get it around the entire tank. And uh, once we got those all situated, I was able to slowly squeeze them down as I pulled the pins out and uh, kind of seeped all the air bubbles out of the tank. I only had a few tiny, tiny little bit of air bubbles in the tank uh, from all of the gluing and everything that I had to do. So hopefully it holds. I don't think it'll cause any issues. I know I don't want to lose a side panel of the tank. That would not be good. So uh, then after that, I glued down all the other pieces as you guys can see. And then we had to take it off of the tank to then lay the bottom of the tank over here. I had to flip it, get all those sides all situated. It was kind of a pain when you're on your own. If you have a guy to come help, 
you it is make it a lot easier and this is a smaller of the tanks that i probably would end up building in my life so uh it being by myself and my first tank i hope it turned out well i hope it does good uh, we will see this in one of the future videos coming up to see if it does hold water that will be the next part in all of this but for right now we're just kind of winging it hoping it does well and uh but yeah so we flipped it got it up and uh, then we set it down on its base and glued all that, got it all drying. And then now we're basically at that stage, which is right here, is what you guys see today. So hopefully it holds water. I don't know. I got uh, kind of holding these on here. But I do want to point out that I did actually put a bead of actual like glass. Uh, well, it's, it's safe for acrylic as well, but it's glass and acrylic. It is specific aquarium uh, sealant, which I'll actually show you, which is right here. I don't know if you guys can see it. It's, uh, it's a little, little dark in here. I'm sorry, I'm working on the lighting situation, but it is, uh, is meant specifically for aquariums. Uh, it is an aquarium safe silicone. It's supposed to help seal it. It holds up to 750 gallons of water. So this is only a hundred. So hopefully uh, it just gave it a little extra strength is basically all I was looking for because this is my first acrylic tank. I wanted to kind of make sure it worked because once you mess up with acrylic, you can't really turn around and go back. It kind of just is what it is. So hopefully I do not have to do anything different with this tank and it is all good from here on out. But only time will tell. We have to let it sit for about a week. So tonight is actually when I'm leaving in some hours. I don't know when to actually go to the airport to fly up to Nebraska and I will actually be there from my Wednesday to Wednesday. So then once I get back the very next day, we are pouring water into this guy which hopefully these videos aren't too spaced out for you guys. They will not be weeks apart. They will be only probably a few days apart. So hopefully you guys are excited for this and that we can get this done in one clean swoop. I'm hoping for the best case scenario. And then uh, if this works out and this is a great successful project, then we will move on to more successful projects in the future, hopefully. But that is about all I got for you guys. I know it's kind of a slower paced, boring video, but I just wanted to give you guys an update on what's going on with this tank. I know I teased it a little bit in the house reveal tour. So other than that, I appreciate you guys for watching. I thank you guys for watching again. And that means the same thing. And I said it twice, so take that. If you guys have any questions, comments, concerns on how I built this, what I did wrong, what I did right, please let me know. And uh, hopefully uh, all my months and hours of watching YouTube videos on how to make this work and Baylor's help, really, hopefully we don't have a leak and hopefully it all works out. So other than that, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you later, bye. And just oh! This thing's still going. Okay. It's not on time-lapse. No. Nah. It's at five minutes and 35 seconds.